everyone. Uh, so here uh, we will be doing five students in total. Direction professor, even explain magic tea. Isolator and circulator. For all the five experiments, the procedure is same. Uh, we will be using this this equipment. Along with this, we will be using the equipment of VHR. First, I tell you how to uh, uh, do experiment with this equipment. So once you turn on the uh, power supply, here you can see the gun power supply. You have to keep it in the voltage mode and keep it as nine volts. Once you keep it as nine volts, here you have to. Here uh, you have gun bias bearing uh, knob. Here you have to vary it to get exact 9 volts. Once you get, got the 9 volts, you have to uh, connect your meter here. Here you can see the detect, detect, detector attached. The meter is reading approximately 1.12 milliamps. If it is not reading 1.12 milliamps, as mentioned earlier, you have to adjust the uh, gun oscillator uh, reading in order to get exactly 1 milliamp. Once you get 1 milliamp, what you have to do is you have to detach the detector and connect your load. In my case, the load are uh, load will be varying like directional coupler, isolator, circulator. These all are considered to be loads. So I will remove the detection. And first of all, if I am working with the uh, let's say I am working with the isolator. First, let us start with directional coupler. Also. So, for example, I have connected the directional coupler in this fashion. For directional coupler. We have four ports in total. First port, second port, third port, and fourth port. The numbers can be any way. We have to remember only one thing. If you are given input here, the port in the same arm will be the through port, and the port diagonal to it will be the coupled, coupled port, and the port adjacent to it will be the isolated port. So uh, you have to remember only the directions. Don't remember that. Uh, that don't keep them fixed. So you, you will be varying the input ports. For suppose I am connect, I am connecting here. I am taking the output here. I will note down the value. The input current was uh, 1.16 as we saw earlier. You will note down the output current whatever you are getting here. And you will change the orientation of the direction coupler. Now giving this as input and keeping the match load here. Uh, you will keep the, you will take the detector and take the output here. And you will uh, keep a match of here while taking readings. So, if you don't see any readings, you can adjust the wires, you only might get readings. And once you are done with this, you have to repeat this for all the four words. You will get a uh, matrix like this. So, you will get a matrix something like this. Like, let us say uh, this is the port 1, port 2, port 3, and port 4 or you can keep this as may maybe currents here and ports here p1 p2 p3 and p4 so uh, if port 1 is input wh what current you are getting as in the uh, port 2 port 3 port 4 or you can keep this as instead of port 2 port 3 port 4 you can keep this as isolated and uh, coupled and through port so if this is input, uh, this will be varying. Like uh, this, 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 will, this might be the isolated, this might be the coupled, and this might be the throughput. You keep this as constant, and you, you can note down the current readings. Once you are done with this, you have some. You have to calculate the S matrix. Like for S12, the formula is under root. This is the input. This is the output. So power in the input by power in the output. So you have to do under root of P output by P input. Uh, for example, if you are taking S12, you have to take the output power at 2 and input power at 1. So you might observe that these diagonal remains uh, valueless because we have kept those as inputs. We don't know how much current we are getting there. For that purpose, you have to repeat the VSWR experiment by keeping the uh, match load and repeating the experiment wherein you will get IC, SC is equals to under root I min by I max by I min. And from that you can get S11 is equals to S plus 1 by S minus 1 or S22 is equals to S plus 1 by S minus 1, S plus 1 by S minus 1. In, in the same way you have to calculate S33 and S44. Once you are done with that, you will get a 4 by 4 S matrix and that will be the end of your experiment. This will be the input port, this will be the output port and this will be the another port. So in, in three ports you have you will be giving input here, taking output once here, output once here. So you will be calculating S12, S21, S31. So you you, you need to get the 3 by 3 matrix. Uh, and also 
as the same problem we got here we, we won't get the s1 and s2 and s3 3 for that you have to repeat the vswr experiment as i have mentioned earlier in the same way we have to add similar to this we have to explain and also we have magic key and also we have circulator and isolator for circulator and isolator also the same thing but as uh, isolator is only a single uh, two port network you need not repeat the vswr experiment you you will just give the input here take the output here give the input here and take the output here you will get a 2 by 2 matrix s11 s22 and all once you are done with this you can repeat the experiment with all the types of loads with the same procedure you, you need to get the matrix of order n where n is the number of ports of the device